you are spiritually growing. You want to put your roots down. You want the real thing. And they're just kind of like in the back, spying on you, looking at you, watching you. it's Ellie welcome back to my channel welcome to my channel if you're new my name is Ellie Arquette I am a psychic medium a life coach and founder of Ellie Arquette Cosmetics if you guys want to book a session with me go to ellieorquette.com if you guys want to purchase my beautiful vegan organic cruelty free makeup skincare line go to ellieorquettecosmetics.com and if you guys want to um, learn about my makeup and beauty um, uh, tips and get ready with me and skincare and makeup tutorial and all of that please go to my beauty and lifestyle vlogs with Ellie uh, I'm going to post all the all the um the videos there so I just got out of the shower uh Avi I look like shit got glasses on my hair I don't know I do this so it can like look nice so I wanted to do a reading for the collective. I wanted to see what's coming in, whether you're single or with somebody, what, just to see what spirit has to say. So do a quick reading for everyone, for the collective energy out there. So if you guys are interested in watching that, make sure you subscribe, share, and like. Uh, give this video a thumbs up so YouTube promotes it and, and then more subscribers will come and more viewers will come. Let's get into today's video. Okay, so I'm just gonna sage my cards really quickly. I'm gonna use a deck to see what the energy is for the collective, and then I'm gonna use a second deck for clarification, uh, whatever I see on the on the table. So thank you, spirit, thank you, spirit, thank you, spirit. I'm gonna give these two decks a really good shuffle first. So this deck is ready. The second deck. Okay, so it's late at night and my dog is probably going to bark and freak out. All right, so let's get going. Okay, so thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. I want to just give us any messages, whatever messages you have for the collective, energetically, people that are single, people that are in relationships. Uh, what is he thinking about? Is he thinking about you? Is she thinking about you? Um, all that good stuff. You guys know. You guys know what time it is. Okay, let's do it. So thank you, Spirit. Okay, well this card wants to come out. Ooh, some people are gonna get. Um, this is okay. Let me get into it. Let me let me let me put the cards down. Ooh, I'm not gonna do like a traditional like layout. I'm just gonna see what cards are gonna like fly out, and then I'm just gonna. Okay, this wants to come out. Oh my god, there's so many aces on the table. Okay, okay, okay. Ooh, okay. This wants to go. Ooh. And then we're gonna clarify with the other deck what all this means so two four six seven okay so that's good oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh okay so we have the eight of wands which is like you know swift communication someone wanting to reach out to you talk to you text you like very important very urgent to get in touch with you talk to you tell you something okay so that's the first card that came flew out and then after that is the ace of wands there's a lot of passion uh behind this phone call this kind of urgency uh they want to make an offer uh most likely it's going to be a passionate offer 
it's like a passionate offer like oh my god i miss you so much like, you're the one stuff like that and then right after that we have the ace of swords it seems like somebody wants to come through uh and speak truthfully and tell you the truth that's what this energy is and then we have the three of cups which is celebration love and um so yeah so these cards are amazing right but then after that we have the death card and the justice card so i don't know okay so we have that energy right but the energy after that uh the the, the cards that flew out and this is a set this is two four five uh one two three four five six i need a seventh card oof okay okay so it seems like a lot of you guys might be in separation like you have a person but you're in separation or you have not heard from this person like you broke up with this person and they want to come in mercury is going to go in retrograde a lot of these douchebags are going to want to contact you just be aware that's why i want to do this reading for you guys uh so it's just like oh my god i've been thinking about you and you know i just want to give this another go they want to come in quickly swiftly to communicate with you to talk to you and to speak to you truthfully like they want to give you the truth they want to give you the 411 like this is this is what's up you know i thought this other girl you know oh uh she was gonna be better for me she really sucked my dick real well but i'm still thinking about you <laughs> i'm still thinking about you and i want you know i want you i want you to suck my dick okay if you guys are new to my channel i'm really insane and i'm really crazy sometimes i'm really nice sometimes i'm savage sometimes i'm really like bougie and sometimes i'm just like ghetto so it just it is what it is just roll with it okay i have multiple personality disorders so so this is all good and dandy however we have the death card and the justice card i'm going to get clarification for all of this in a second so the death card and the justice card and then the final card the seventh card here is the uh the ten of wands okay so the death card and the justice card is that even though they're coming in, they're like, yeah, you know, babe, I'm just like, you're my bae, and I want you, and I'm just like thinking about you, dreaming about you, and da da da, -da. However, it's like, it's still going to end, okay? It's still going to end, and the justice card is about them getting the justice, getting their uh, kind of the uh, reap what you sow type of thing. Like, if, the, if they've done you wrong in the past, you're just going to be like, click, peace out. I don't think so. So, yeah, that's that's going to happen for sure. And then the Ten of Wands is that they, they're they burdened and guilt. And they feel all this guilt about why they didn't reach out to you earlier. Why they treated you the way they treated you. Uh, why they involved the, the karmic and the third third party situation so uh, I want to get some clarification and see um because it because the, the reading started really beautiful but then it just went okay <laughs> okay so let's let's see let's see what these cards mean so spirit can you clarify for me the eight of wands and the ace of wands thank you spirit thank you spirit these cards are not as slippery can you guys Spirit, can you guys uh, clarify for me the Eight of Wands and Ace of Wands? Okay. Okay, so yeah, um, they have many options. They have many girls around them, or if it's if it's a if it's a girl, there's they have many guys around them. They have many options, but you stand out to them. So we have these Seven of Cups. It's like they have all these options, right? But you stand out to them, and that's why they want to reach out to you. So that's the clarification that we just got. So yeah, they have all these options, but they want to come in really quickly, swiftly, contact you. They're urgent. It's very urgent. Like, I love you. I want to be with you. I, I'm passionate about you. I want you to, I just want to be with you. And it's because it's just like they want you and they're thinking about you. Um, and it's like this feeling of like, nothing kind of compares to you no no one compares to you type of a uh, feeling and energy now let's get a confirmation i'm sorry let's get a clarification for the ace of swords and the three of cups thank you spirit clarification for the ace of wands and the three of cups wow so spirit is not holding back tonight so we have the wheel of fortune uh the empress and the three of swords I feel like some of you, so they're going to come in, 
So basically, this card is talking about they want to come in and tell you the truth. They want to come in and tell you the truth that like, yes, I'm sorry, I put you in a th uh, third party situation. That means like they were dating you and somebody else. They were juggling you and somebody else for years and years and years and years or months and months and months or weeks or weeks or weeks, uh, whatever that resonates with you guys. So they want to come in and they want to be truthful about it. They want to tell you about it. It's Ace of Swords. And then they want to celebrate with you. Like, you know what? I chose you. I don't want them. I made a mistake. I chose you. However, um, the third party situation, that's why we have, that's why we have this over here at the end of the reading. The third party situation is still going. So they're kind of full of shit. Uh, although they want to come in and kind of like get this off their chest, get it off of their back. Like it's just burning them. They feel guilty about it. It's really heavy, uh, you know, laying heavily on their conscious, although they want to come forward and tell you and be truthful and be honest with you however the position of the third of the the three of swords being in the in the the future energy position is that this shit is still going to continue and because this shit is going to continue and if you do take them back and say oh my god i love you so much i'm so happy you're back three of cups let's celebrate let's have sex and go out and get something to eat and go do our you know go do our normal things go to the park go to the movies go to rest our favorite restaurant whatever that is for you guys but you will soon find out that the third party situation meaning like you him and the other person is still going to go on so uh that's why it's going to end we have the death card and the justice card that's why it's going to end and they're going to get the karma for fucking with you it's like dude if you want to, if you want to date multiple people, just don't get into a relationship. You cannot have your cake and eat it too. No woman or man is open to that unless you want to be in an open relationship. And if you want to be in an open relationship and it's like been discussed, yeah, a lot of them um, are with their past person. Like they, they went back to their ex, the six of cups. A lot of them went back to their ex. However, it's not working out for them. They got the tower. Wow, look at this. It's just, dude, dude, you, you can't, you can't make this up. So a lot of them went back to their exes. It's a tower moment. moment. It didn't work out for them. The queen of swords, that person cut them off and they were like, you know what? You're full of shit. You're just a piece of shit. I don't want you. Let's see what's behind here. So, wow. Okay. So let me get uh, some other, let me, let me get advice for, for you guys. Let me get advice for you guys. So this is for the collective, for the collective. Thank you, Spirit, for the collective. And I apologize for looking, looking like this. But it's like midnight. I don't know what time it is, like 11 or something. And I just wanted to do a reading. So thank you, Spirit. I want to find out what is what is what's your advice for them. Let's give them some advice. We clarified the situation for them. So hopefully, if someone in your life that you know is going to want to come back, make sure that they're not still involved in this you know third party situation. Meaning like they're dating you and somebody from their past, or they're juggling you know a bunch of people. So let's see. Okay. So what is the advice for the collective? Thank you, Spirit. The advice for the collective is the, I have to take my glasses off to read because this is just for looks, you guys. I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to be like cute. Okay. <laughs> you are spiritually connected to those you love. So this is an interesting card. I feel like this is them. Oh, okay. Okay. Let me see. Let me see if what I'm getting is, is correct. I feel like you are spiritually growing. You are on a different. You are on a different level. You're learning from your past mistakes, um, and you are very close to your friends and family. You are growing. You want to. You want to keep. You want a foundation. You want. You want to put your roots down. You want the real thing. And they're just kind of like in the back, spying on you, looking at you, watching you, uh, and they're they look like they're sneaking around because they're not coming forward truthfully honestly 100 percent to stay in that energy like they do this back and forth thing like indecisive energy so if you look at the card that's you you're growing 
you want to put your roots down, you want to move forward with your life, and, and there he is in the background. Where is he? There he is in the background. He's watching you. He's spying on you. He's scared to come forward because you're the dragon and you could slay them. And they're scared of you because you're this powerful fucking dragon. And they're just like, oh my God, I don't think she's going to buy my BS anymore. So that's the advice for you guys. Um, let me also look at my other cards. Paris, go lay down for God's sake. Okay, so thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. I want to find out what other advice Spirit wants to give to the collective. What other advice? Okay. So we have a heart with a key. Welcoming love, meeting the one, open your heart, getting together, perfect. That's the past. The present energy is love call. Someone's going to, like I said, literally, this is giving up, giving me the same card as the, the, when I first did the reading and the, and the, the past or like the initial energy of what they want. They, they want to call you and tell you how much they love you, express their love to you. Uh, and then... Well, the, the, the third card is the twin flame. The twin flame, yin yang, balance, union, duality, coupling, complementing each other. Let me see what the fourth card is going to be. Boat, receiving what you need, progression, arriving, moving on, closure issues. It's not going to work out. I'm sorry, you guys, because this person is not being truthful. So even in the advice section, we're still getting the same cards. So they want to come forward and they want to express their love to you. And they're probably your twin flame. And it's all showing that. But the final outcome is saying that you're just going to have to move on. And you're just going to have to kind of give yourself that closure because they're not going to be able to give you the closure because they're really confused and they just want to, they're just players and they want to, they're very manipulative and, and they're just going to continue fucking with you. So this was a really powerful reading. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope I can help you guys prevent from um, allowing someone from the past to come in and fuck with you again, break your heart again cheat on you again, lie to you again, the seven of swords energy all over again, the sneaking around, juggling multiple people, talking to you, talking to the person, just that whole, it's so, it's not even high school, man, it's like middle school. So hopefully this helped. I love you guys so much. Please subscribe, share, and like. If you guys need to book a session with me, go to lyrica.com to book a session. If you guys want to purchase my products, go to lyricacosmetics.com to purchase the products. I love you guys, and I'll see you guys during my live stream or my next video. Bye.